Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do uh, lesson 6.2 in Algebra 2 about binomial distributions. It will be part 1 of the PowerPoint slash video. Part 1, construct and interpret binomial distributions. We have a skill sheet here of 26 points. And then we have a notebook entry worth 10 points, students. So make sure you take care of that. Teachers, here's the bell work. We have this here for students to read through and give them about five minutes to do this question here. Okay, welcome back. And here is the solution for the bell work here. Number of different ways to assign five W's, seven R's, and three M's to the students is. 15 factorial over 5 factorial times 7 factorial times 3 factorial equals this many possible job assignments with with this kind of context here. Students, if you didn't get it, copy it down. Make sure you hand it in with your classwork to get credit for it. Okay. So construct and interpret binomial distributions. You found probabilities of events and these are from 6.1. Uh, you will study probability distributions so you can describe in certain things like museums. So a random variable is a variable whose value is determined by the outcomes of a random event. For example, when you roll a six-sided die, you can define a random variable x that represents the number showing on the die. So the possible values of x are here. For every random variable, a probability distribution can be defined. Students, define these in your own words now. This is a notebook entry, and I checked those on Friday. Okay, key concepts here. Probability distributions is a function that gives the probability of each possible value of a random variable. The sum of all the probabilities in a probability distribution must be equal to 1. And then here is an example of a probability distribution for rolling a die. We have x here for the event, and then we have the probabilities here for that event happen. Okay, construct a probability distribution. Let x be a random variable. It represents someone in two six-sided dice or road. Make a table and a histogram showing the probability distribution for x. Here they are. Here's your histogram. You go from 0 to 12. <clears throat> The sum of two dice here, there are no zeros, but there is a 2 and there is a 12 and then everything in between. The possible values of x are the integers from 2 to 12. The table shows how many outcomes of rolling two dice produce each value of x. Divide the number of outcomes for x by 36 to find the probability of x. So you have 36 actual events that are possible here and then for these outcomes here you put them over 36 and then you simplify them okay. then we go into our first guy of practice a tetrahedral die has four sides numbered one through four let x be a random variable that represents sum on two die or row students here the number of digits in a random integer from zero through 99 Tetrahedron die has four sides. So here is our table from it. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we have a tetrahedron die has four sides, one through four. So here are our outcomes here one, two, three, four, three, two, one. So these are the probabilities of these happening here. And that's part one of uh, 6.2 part 2 and 3 is also available if you want those email me here thank you